Hey, howdy, howdy, my friends. I'm Cowboy Max. Hey, let's talk about goat housing. What do we need to do to protect our fantastic little goats from the elements? People ask me all the time, well, I'm just getting into the goat business and I've never had goats before. What do I need to do to keep them safe and protected? What kind of shelter do I need for them? Well, here's the thing. Goats are remarkably resilient to, to pretty much all weathers. They can handle extreme heat. They can handle extreme colds. I'm talking negative 20 degrees below zero and above 100 degrees. And so the main things that we want to look at protecting them from are this. We want to protect them from moisture that falls from the sky. That's their biggest enemy. You guys do not like stuff that falls from the sky. It's like battery acid to them. I mean, it starts to rain or it starts to snow or whatever it might be, they're heading for some kind of shelter. So let's protect them from moisture if we can. Let's protect them from wind if it's cold, especially. The combination of moisture and cold can be a bad thing if they don't have protection. Now, the cold and the heat are not as big of factors, but we still wanna be able to give them some shade in the summertime so they can cool off in a place where they can be a little bit warmer in the wintertime. And that really has to do with just a place sometimes that has a nice bedding of wood chips or straw or something that keeps them off of the, off of the cold ground. So let's just take a walk and let me show you the kind of shelters I have. I have several different kinds and let's go take a little tour and I'll show you what I do. So these are my hoop houses. I have four of these. These are my primary winter housing for my big herds of goats. Now I've got goats spread out all over the ranch for different reasons, but these are a really fantastic, simple, but very effective shelter uh, for the goats. It's had a pretty simple shelter to build. This is just two inch PVC, schedule 40 pipe. They're two inch in diameter. They're 20 foot long. These, the ribs that I have here, they go from end to end. And we can talk about how this is done a little bit in more depth some other time but I've got a four foot sleeve right there that goes over a T-post. And then these ribs that go over here, they kind of, they slide over those T-posts to hold it into place. And I've got some very effective, really nice woven net film is what this is called. It's a product from Solar Rig called woven, um, a, a woven film. And it's better than a normal plastic because it's really hard to penetrate, which is really important when it comes to goats. Now, I just have some hog wire around the sides that keeps the goats from really trying to hook it and mess with it because we all know how destructive goats can be. You just can't have nice things with goats. But the, my particular shelters here, they're 14 feet wide and 40 feet long is what it ends up being. And I can hold in, in these two that I have right here, this one and the one right next to it, I can house, house about uh, 200 goats in these. And I've got two more that I can utilize for the same thing. Now. These things are fantastic in the wintertime because you can see I've got snow on top. I've got, a, we had about a five inch snow. So that's, it's been able to hold that. When I put it to the wind side, the windward side, the wind blows for the, from the west for us. And I put the hoops this way, the wind kind of goes over it, really holds up to really good wind. We've had over 70 mile an hour gusts. These things have been here for five years and they're doing great. Now, one of the, again, I was telling you about trying to protect the goats from the elements in the cold, straw bedding, wood chip bedding, anything that kind of gets them up and insulated from the cold ground is, is essential. Now, here's the issue when it comes to these hoop houses, which is how versatile is it when it comes to summertime? Because it'll get hot in here. I mean, it's right now, it says it's uh, 30 degrees outside. In here, we're probably, I'm probably 55, almost 60 degrees. So it's definitely a lot warmer inside of this hoop house so summertime what i do is i come back with a greenhouse fabric and i drape it over the outside the top of the hoop house so that it shades it in here really cools it down um, but it's still pretty warm in here the main thing about summertime uh, is when we get rains here in new mexico that rain is cold gives a place for the goats to come in and they do are able to get out of that so I'll combine that, they've got overhead protection shelter from that battery acid that's fallen from the sky. So I combine that with greenhouse fabric that we put on uh, metal frames that you'd get from any greenhouse uh, supply store. This 14 by 40 um, setup that I have right here, it cost me under $2,000 to build. Now that was five years ago, so who knows what it is right now. 
but let's go from here uh, and I will take you to uh, a couple of some of the other uh, shelters that I have for the goats. Hello goats. Let's show them your shelter. What do you say? Okay, so on my place, I've got two shelters just like this. It's a, these are a three-sided shelter. And that's something I didn't talk about when we were looking at the hoop houses, is having three sides is really kind of important because you can get weather coming from a lot of different directions. The way I strategize, my strategy, is that I place these such that the back is towards the wind side. Most of my wind is gonna come from the west and from the north. And so I'm gonna protect against those in two different places. In the cold, in the winter time when it's cold, we're gonna protect against the majority of our storms that are gonna be coming in and the wind that's gonna be coming. Same thing in the summertime, we get really heavy winds and they do like to get out of it when it gets up 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds. So that's the way I structure my, my three-sided um, uh, shelters if I can. It's just a simple wood structure. <clears throat> I think it's 12 feet by 40 feet, uh, 12 feet deep and 40 feet long, something like that. I have this one, this particular one split up because I have a carport over here and this is just an old carport that somebody gave me. I'm like, well, I can put that to use. These were originally um, built to house horses. That's why they're so tall. So with goats, you don't need near as, as large of a shelter as this. Now let's take a look. I've got this carport. This is just a structure set up that I have. Um, another, uh, another option to where I can put goats if I need to. And so the, the carport is here and it doesn't have side protection from the wind, uh, which comes in handy, but it does then open itself back up into the back of the barn here where they can get out of the elements even more in here like this. What do you say, goats? Just enjoying the day? A little snow out there, a little sunshine in here, and some nice straw to hang out on, right? Okay, now as we work down into some more creative and more cost-effective type shelters. <laughs> Hello, little friends. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is usually our teenage bin where we keep our weanlings and uh, some of our older goats. We can pay a little bit more attention to them. But hey, we get a little creative sometimes. <laughs> Here's the schoolhouse shelter. Same thing, we've got nice straw bedding in here. The windows are closed off on that side and we can fit. They, could, they pack in there, there'll be 30 or 40 of these little ones inside of there. What do y'all think? Even you little sheep like to get in there. You know, the smaller goats, especially the babies, <clears throat> they like to get in and around everything. So I've got a lot of different things where it's both stimulating for them, but it can be <laughs> serve as shelter. So just like a big old culvert pipe like this works out great. They can get in there. A little bit of straw. <laughs> get some straw in there. They love to play in it, but they'll also get in there in a the storm as well. You know, sometimes one man's trash is another man's treasure, which brings me to this one. This may be one of my favorite shelters that I have. This old bus was given to us. It was gonna be going to the junkyard and, and they said, hey, if you can drag it out of here, you can have it. So I drug it out. Slapped a little paint on it just to make it fun. <laughs> but this works out great. They do love coming in here. And it's a fantastic, it's got fantastic space, a lot of room for the goats. It works really well for the goats. So in the summertime, it gets hot in here. We can just open these windows. They've got the shade. There's good ventilation. Wintertime, they can get in here and be a bunch of rotten kids in a bus. That's what it boils down to. But in the uh, wintertime, we can get in here. We can close these if we need to. And it's a nice, warm, contained shelter. Again, the straw bedding is a must. But on a day like this, windows can be open. And it's just a fantastic little place. If there's not bullies on the bus like Fernando. So bottom line folks is the goats are really resilient. They're very versatile 
you can find a lot of different things that make it workable and ap applicable for goats. So whether it's just pallet structures or small wooden frame structures, a lot of different things. Like I said, one man's junk is another man's treasure. So be creative. Give them a little shelter from what? The wind, the rain, the precipitation coming from the sky, the cold and the, and the heat. A little combination of all that, but they can handle some really extremes. They're pretty amazing animals. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope it helps you a little bit. <laughs> Go out and have a goat day. Bye.